Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to share a Christmas decoration idea by using Sizzix dies. These are uh, designed in such a way that you can place them on top of a battery operated tea light. Now I'm going to take them out of the packaging and uh, these dies actually cut out two different sizes of trees and they also give you these uh, little uh, triangles that fit inside the die that can cut out little stars or little dots, different ways to decorate your trees. On today's video I will be using the larger tree and I will create six different trees just to show you a few ideas. To decorate my trees I will also use dies from this die set, again by Sezix, which is called Funky Festive. It is actually packed with dies, these are 16 dies inside that cut out little bows and flowers and leaves. Most of these dies actually are layers, so you need to place one on top of the other to create a lovely look, just like this leaf for example. And I love that all those layers come connected, so they make your life easy. You don't have to look through all the pile of those dies to find out which goes with which die. So let's start with the larger of the trees and uh, all I'm doing here is to just measure about how big of a paper I need. So this is about 6 by 6.5 six in an inches and I will start by cutting out my craft paper. So I have my cutting platform there. I'm going to place inside the little triangle that cuts out the dots and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. Now the Big Shot I'm using is the Fold Away one, which is now available all over the world. Now I'm going to remove the big die, and now I will make sure that all those little dots are popped out, and then I'm going to place this die on the other side of my tree, and here is how it looks once you have all the three sides ready to go. Now all I need to do is to fold it, but I'm going to show you how I can take it a step further. So on my glass mat I have a little bit of uh, gesso that I have watered down and now uh, with my brush I'm going to add lots of splashes all over my paper. There is an awesome sale on everything Sizzix today so make sure to visit my blog and if you move fast you will get this tie for about $10 less. But everything Sizzix is on sale. Now I will move on and start die cutting a little uh, pieces out of colored cardstock. So I'm going to cut out uh, the poinsettia out of red cardstock and this is a branch with leaves that I will cut out a couple of times. Then once I have all the pieces ready, I will just do some paper piecing, placing one on top of the other. The idea here is to create dimensional elements that I can place on top of my trees, just to embellish them a little bit more. So I have my branches ready, now I'm going to work on my poinsettia, and I'm just using those uh, scalping tools by Sizzix, and um, I'm just going to add some dimension on all those little parts, and then stick one inside the other. There are four different layers for this poinsettia, and I'm going to stick one inside the other by using my glue gun. Now now this glue gun is also by C6 and everything I'm using today is on sale. The dies for this flower also cut out a center and little dots that you can add, but I decided to go with a little pearl inside just to embellish it a little bit more. And since my tree is full of snow, it's time to add some snow on those parts as well. So I'm just repeating the same process of uh, adding some splashes with uh, watered down gesso on both the branches and the poinsettia. Now all the parts are ready to go, all I need to do is to do the folding, for that I will be using my bone folder just to make a good crease there. I need to fold all the little pieces, then add my double sided tape and put everything together. This is quite easy to do and once you make a couple of them, you will see that they come together really easy. Now today I'm going to show you six different ideas on these uh, Christmas light trees, but I'm not going to punish you by making you see how I put all those six trees together. I'm just going to share these ones and then I'll just show you how I decorate them. Now if you notice at the bottom there is this hole, so this fits perfectly on top of a tea light. Like so. Of course you can decorate the outside of the tea light, I just have a um, brown strip of paper here which I'm going to wrap and stick it in place. 
and I like to create those uh, paper bases in such a way so that you can slide them out of the tea light so you can easily change the battery or even change the actual tea light. Now I'm just going to add some gesso all around my base as well since I do have uh, white all over the rest of the project and uh, all I'm doing is uh, some dry brushing at the edges and all around the paper. And now it's ready to decorate my tree. I'm just adding a dot of uh, hot glue and then I'm going to place everything on top. Now I'm going to share today only six ideas on how you can make this, but I will create a ton of these tree lights and that's just because I am planning to create them for my son's school. They do organize a Christmas bazaar every year and all the earnings go to charity, so hopefully my little trees are going to sell out for them. And here is some video footage that I tried to shoot while having my studio lights off just so you can see how lovely it looks with a tea light on. And now of course with a dye like this you can really go to town, so you can use pattern paper like I did here. Of course you can use specialty cardstock like metallic gold and silver, just like the idea they have on the packaging of the dye. This is white glitter cardstock. And I also cut it out one more time from uh, green. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate these. And let's start first with the green tree. Now I've cut it out one more time from pattern paper and I just used my scissors to cut out those triangles that fit inside. So now I'm going to do some layering. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and I'm going to go all around the triangle as well as in between those holes. And once, once you place it on top, since I used the exact same die, they are going to match nicely. All the holes are going to fall one on top of the other, so the idea here is of course not to block the hole since you want to see the light coming through when you turn on the tea light. So I have put together my little tree and now I'm going to decorate it. I have already cut out the branches and some berries. Again, all those little cutouts come from the funky festive dye set. I'm using my hot glue gun again to put everything together and as you can see on your screen I have a little red bow. I was planning to use that in the beginning but I decided not to and you will see that I will use a cutout bow from the same die set. And to make my tree more festive I'm just using some glitter, Nouveau drops and I'm going to go all over the berries as well as the bow. And here are some close-up photos on my second tree. For my white glitter tree, my base is again made out of the same cardstock and I have already cut out some branches and leaves and berries using again the funky festive die set. And with my hot glue gun I'm going to put everything together at the base of my tree. Now for the branches I went with a couple of uh, green colors, a darker and a lighter shade, just to add some variation. And of course the more leaves, the fluffier the base is going to look Remember that you can decorate all three edges of your tree and make it uh, nice and fluffy at the bottom. I decided to decorate for my trees today only the front side. Now I had so much fun creating those trees and I know that we will have a lot of fun as a family during the weekend when we will keep on creating those trees for the charity. I think that this project is a great Christmas activity for you and your children or your grandchildren. So I'm just sticking the berries in the middle and I'm going to finish off my berries with some Nouveau red glitter on top of them. And here are some close-up photos to my white tree. So now you get the idea of how I created all my six trees. Now uh, the last one that I created was the one with the pattern paper and you can see that I decorated with a red ribbon bow and a couple of jingle bells that just dangle down there. And here are some close-up photos on this project. So here they are all together and you can see here what bases I created for each of those trees. And you will notice that I kept the metallic ones simple as they are. I haven't uh, attached anything on top of them. 
So that was the project for today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired to create some three-dimensional projects for Christmas to decorate your house or to hand them out for a Christmas bazaar for charity like I will do. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you will have a lovely day.